Friday morning. I had a terrible night last night. Couldn't sleep. I was awake until five. So I changed my alarm from eight to ten. I still woke up at eight. But I went back to sleep again until about ten. So if I'm lucky I've had five hours. I don't do well on a lack of sleep. It sets off all the headaches that I've talked about before, and that's an age thing. Um, so I might have to have a nap later. So it's Friday morning, what's left of it. And I'm going to take myself out for a walk to get some fresh air. I didn't leave home at all yesterday, uh, apart from Deanna Morrison's. I was waiting in for a, a call for another... Uh, for a screening for another market research survey, which I'm still waiting to hear if it's confirmed or not. I'll know today. Um, hope I get it. That'd be a good one. So I had to wait in all day for that because she wasn't sure what time she was going to call. And in the end, she called her. I think it was about three o'clock. So, oh dear. Uh, yeah, not with it today. Um, Got my council tax bill through this morning for the next year. It's going up £52 for the year. That's going to be terrifying for some people. And I get the 25% the discount because I'm living on my own. So that's going to be another kick in the teeth for people just after a, a pretty lacklustre budget. So that means my monthly council tax bill is going up from um, 104 to £105 a month on average. Sorry, 104 to £110 a month average. I'm not with it today at all. Uh, yeah, and then in a couple of weeks I'll know what my Peugeot service package is going to be. Right, that was the lady from the market research. We're just trying to work out dates. Because the one date they can do <coughs> next week is the day I can't do because my cleaning people... The people that I do the cleaning for have moved me from Wednesday to Thursday next week. Which was fine when I agreed, and now re market research happened to want me on the Thursday. Um, anyway, so... <clears throat> that's Friday. I am just so not with it. I'm going to go out for this walk, then I'm going to come back. Then I'm going to have some lunch, and then I'm just going to see what happens the rest of the day. Um, this day feels like a bit of a washout, really. Hey ho, such is life. Will be good anyway because um, I'm going to pop down to Sainsbury's. There are some potential, not freebies, but discounts, and then I can get them on my Nectar card and cash back some of my Nectar card if I can get them. So I'm going to go and have a look at that and see if see if I can get those things. That at least gives me a motivation for going out rather than just walking around the block in the cold. It's quite windy out today which is why I'm doing this from here because I think it's going to be too windy to record outside so I'll let you know how I get on later. I'm back. That walk didn't make me feel any better that's for sure. But fresh air and exercise plus deals. So, let's have a look. I spent £7.50, but I bought it all on Nectar Points because you have to buy, 
when you when you spend nectar points you have to spend them in two pound fifty chunks so I wasn't that far off that but I had to buy one extra thing to make it up to the, um, the 750 so first thing I got vegetable oil 185 I'm down to my last inch or two in the bottle and I don't have any others so I thought I'd buy that I'm getting it for free anyway um, three of the things I bought were on the cashback app, uh, Shop Me Um. So the first thing was this Char Sui Soy, that's the Lee Kun Ki brand. Um, this was £2.10, but um, they're doing £1.10 back on Shop Me Um. The other thing was the same brand, Oriental Sesame Soy Sauce. That was £1.50, um, and that's £1 back. And the other one was the hot chilli soy sauce, which again was £1.50 and is £1 back. So there's all that back on that, but I also bought it for free with Nectar Points, so I've managed to um, convert some of my nectar points back into actual cash because I'll do the refunds through Shopme. And then I was 55p short, hitting the £7.50. 55p for digestives. So I didn't pay anything for that shop, even though it was 7 50 And I will get some money back. I'll put the details up there of the app that I used, as well as uh, what I saved and who I used for that. So that's the end of the week in terms of shopping. I won't be doing any more shopping. I think I'm just going to sleep the rest of today. I feel absolutely dreadful. In fact, it's lunchtime, so I'm going to have some lunch and see how I get on this afternoon. Um, and that's it. <sighs> that's the end of the week. Can't do any more. That's quite enough of that. So I'm going to go and put these things on my spreadsheet and um, get on with some lunch. End of the week. Speak to you soon. Another week has begun. Monday. Um, and I had another dreadful night last night. I don't know what time I got to sleep. I reckon it was probably between about four and five. Oh, I'm so tired. Um, the sleep isn't just a sleep thing. So I have this thing called bruxism, which is a very, very technical term and sounds quite serious, but it's not. Basically, I grind my teeth and I've always done it ever since I was quite young. And uh, so I've done it on and off pretty much all my life. But for some reason, since December, it suddenly got worse. And I don't really know why. I think my sleep patterns have changed a bit. I think I'm sleeping heavier but that might be a winter thing and that, that might change as as we go into spring I'm not sure um, but anyway so I've been doing it a lot worse and it hurts so usually when I've done it I might wake up in the morning and I've bitten the side of my mouth or bit my tongue in the night or something like that but um I've pulled all the muscles in my jaw, and I only do it on this side. i pulled the muscles in my jaw, I've bitten down really hard on my back teeth the last few nights, and it's how I would imagine toothache would feel. I've never had toothache. Um, really hurts. My gums are really sore, and so I'm slowly getting over that, but what tends to happen is that um, at certain points in the day, it'll suddenly start to ache, and it throbs, and the only thing that will stop it is cold water. So I have to keep sluicing with cold water constantly. So yesterday was day two. The first day was, uh, which was Saturday when it was really bad. And I was in constant pain till about five o'clock and it started to dull down. I was just constantly putting cold water on it, constantly, constantly. And it finally dulled down. Um, but it came back in uh, in the evening and I was up till about half five, something like that. The next night was okay, I slept fine, and then last night, 
it was it was hurt in the morning but it wasn't as bad it's starting to ease off already um, so I dealt with that and then it was fine in the evening and then it got to about eight o'clock and suddenly it kicked off again so I tried to be really really careful about not aggravating it so because I've bitten hard down on the teeth when I when I brush and obviously I need to keep brushing it's triggering it so I'm trying to eat earlier so my four to five o'clock intermittent fasting time and then brushing afterwards so that I've got the rest of the evening for it all to calm down again and it kind of did and then it got worse again anyway so I have um, ordered a temporary mouth guard to try and um, stop me doing this and I was looking up on Google and apparently sleeping on your back is supposed to help the worst thing you can do is sleep on your front and sleeping on your sides isn't good and I sleep on my front on my sides and on my back and forcing yourself to sleep on your back permanently is really difficult so it's harder to fall asleep but I've completely readjusted the way my bed is so that I just lay um, lay on my back all night and I've done it for two nights and that's worked I don't think I've done any more biting and slowly this is getting better but I had a terrible night last night um, the problem is that like my parents my dentist is 250 miles away so I need to wait until I'm down there till I can a find out how much damage I've done <coughs> to the inside of my mouth and my teeth because what I'm really concerned about is cracking a tooth or loosening a tooth or something because I'm clearly biting really hard at the moment and you can do immense damage so I've got this new mouth guard thing on the way. I bought a really cheap one because I don't know if it's going to work. But it's quite non-invasive because I was worried about... You can get these boxer style ones that just go right across uh, the, the teeth. But I've gone for something that's soft and less invasive and just stops you biting on the back, which is where the problem is. It's just, I always bite on the back here and I can feel it here. I feel I saw that is where the, I've traumatized the gum line. Anyway, so yesterday was Sunday and I did go to Morrison's and do a Morrison's haul but um, I wasn't in any mood to record it. I just literally recorded the things and thought, well, when I feel okay, I'll do a, I'll do a voiceover for it. So here is the voiceover. So um, this is what I got. So the first thing I got was a bag of wonky carrots. They were 50p and are down to 37p, so that's really good. Uh, the next thing I got was, oh yes, lamb, stewing lamb. There's, I think, six pieces in this, so when I'm doing um, like my batch cooked casseroles, if I put one or two of these into that and let that slow cook that will be really really nice so I'm pleased about that that was four pounds ten we're down to one pound sixty four but potentially there are five or six meals worth of meat in there so that's a that, that's a really good one those have all gone into the freezer uh no surprise um oh yes we have this pizza topping what are these um salami and pepper pepperoni type things the other pepperoni things that i bought um the other week i had one of those out the freezer and they're absolutely fine so i bought four of these little packs these were one pounds 25 and we're down to 38p so i bought four of those so they're all in the freezer for a rainy day um i also managed to get milk this is a six pint of whole milk which me which equates to 12 pints of watered down whole milk so that'll last me absolutely ages so I've decanted this into one pint bottles and popped it in the freezer that was £2.15 it was down to £1.61 and I think £1.61 for basically what becomes 12 pints of milk is pretty good we like that one uh, what else did I buy I got oh yes pig liver now I know a lot of people don't like offal and things like that um, I one of my childhood memories one of the things that mum used to make when we were kids was um, liver bacon and onion or liver and onion and we, I loved it I mean I, I, I was an adventurous child I'll try anything once and I used to love this so you don't see it very often 
I used to see it a lot, but not so much anymore. So that was 54p down to 22p. I've decided to keep that out, and I'm going to make that in the next couple of days. Um, I have plenty of bacon, and I have some onion left, so I'm going to make a nice gravy to go with it and do some potatoes and that'll be a really nice lunch um i love stuff like this i'll give anything a go once <laughs> what else did i get uh oh yeah more coleslaw was two pounds down to 60p it's yogurt coleslaw i don't think i've ever seen it called that before but it just tastes like coleslaw i don't know where the yogurt comes into it and then the last thing I got was vine tomatoes. I got two packs. These were £1.39 down to 56p. So, yeah, I got two of those. And that was my Sunday haul. Now, that whole lot, if I'd bought that full price, would have cost me £14.29. My, um, my receipt says I paid £7.21, so that's a saving of £7.08. So basically, that was uh, pretty much half price. And the really good thing about that is that, like the last um, Morrison's haul I did before that, I have a gift card, but I've also just cashed in a Morrison's fiver. So I used the fiver first, and then bought what was left on the gift card so that means I still have about a fiver's worth of the gift card left so um, I, I theoretically spent £7.21 on that yesterday but that actually cost me nothing which was really great so that's been a really profitable Sunday in that respect I did my cleaning the weather was atrocious yesterday really high winds we've had some really windy days and uh, so Apart from having to go out, I haven't been out. Plus, I felt rough anyway. <sighs> but another week has begun. I do not have a lot on this week. I have the second part of my first market research tomorrow to wrap that up. Um, that's just like a half hour chat in the morning and then that's done. That's going to pay me £80. Pays better than cleaning work, that's for sure. When you work out how much time I've actually physically spent... Um, doing that market research survey, let's say I spent five minutes filling in the application um, uh, and then it was a half hour little interview. I had a task to do over the next two weeks which was basically looking at a, looking at a website and making any um, notes against that but it didn't take me very long, I probably spent about 15 minutes in total um, because it was a subject I was quite familiar with and then that second interview which is another half an hour will be tomorrow so I've made £80 for less than two hours work which I think is pretty good um, and my cleaning my cleaning work has moved from Wednesday to Thursday and on Wednesday I now have another market research survey and it's to do with um, it's to do with being self-employed and on universal credit so that's a really good one for me so hopefully that will go ahead on the Wednesday afternoon. Um, we'll see what happens there. That should all work out. And that, that's pretty much all I have going for this week. I think this uh, this mashup of my week is going to be quite short this time. Um, but I've got a few other things coming out. So uh, I'll keep recording this week. I'm sure something will come up that needs to be said. Because it's hard to stop me talking, believe it or not, even <laughs> when I'm not feeling so great. So, yeah, so that's my that's my next haul done for March. And uh, <sighs> tired today. I'm hoping I don't get any pain today and that I get a decent night's sleep. And that hopefully we are on the up again now. And I'll let you know when that mouth guard turns up because I really want to trial that. I'm hoping it will really help um, because I don't need to do any more damage to my face to be honest with you I've had enough already it's Tuesday morning almost Tuesday lunchtime I think I slept quite well last night I only remember waking up once and I slept on my back all night I don't know whether that's helped my mouth um, 
it doesn't hurt as much today, although particularly first thing in the morning everything kind of seizes up overnight. But I woke up feeling like I had a hangover. And I don't know whether that's because I've slept really heavily or it's just the accumulation of being in some level of discomfort. I'm not sure. So I felt really rough when I woke up this morning. It took me ages to get going. Um, but then I kind of picked up pretty quick. Uh, at 10 o'clock this morning, I had the closing interview for the first market research survey that I have managed to get this year really worth my time and effort because it pays £80. I've done two short interviews, one was half an hour, one was 45 minutes. Over the course of two weeks I had an opportunity to look at some online resources and then I came back with my comments on that and that was it. So let's say I've done maybe three hours work for this in total, including the application, for 80 quid. I can't get that anywhere else. So that was really great. So hopefully at some point, well not hopefully, but at some point that money will come in. I tend to find market research surveys tend to drag their heels on payments and you can wait up to like 28 days or, or something. But I'm not in any rush for the money. So when it comes through, it comes through. Um, I'll let you know when that does come through. So that was really good. And thankfully, by the time that interview happened, I had woken up. So today, I am going to make the liver, bacon and onion recipe that I mentioned the other day. And if you are vegetarian, or you are offended by what I'm going to cook, you can skip this bit. It's not going to be terribly dramatic. I'm not going to show you all the close-ups, um, but it does mean that I can just kind of get on with it and uh, talk to you at the same time. I'm just going to rinse off all the liver and get all the, the bits out of it that I don't want, because they're quite awfully... Oh yeah, that definitely smells like liver. <laughs> But that's fine. I'm going to let that rinse through for a moment. And I'm hoping that today eating isn't going to hurt. Because normally, over the last few days, whenever I've eaten something, that has been what has set all this off, all the, the, the jaw action, because the muscles still hurt here, still got quite a lot of pain down here, um, that tooth at the back, is the top is still a bit sore, but it's not as bad as it was. We are incrementally getting better. I would say I'm probably about 20 to 30% better than I was yesterday. So that's good. So I'm going to cut up this liver. I'm just going to cut up with a pair of scissors. It's the easiest way. Just going to cut it up into the right sized pieces. This is going to be quite a big lunch. What I've started doing actually is overcooking on lunch and then saving some of it for tea and then just reheating some of it for tea um, that way I'm not using extra food and it's keeping my eating in check a bit the one good thing about uh, the only good thing about having the problems I've had with my mouth over the last few days is that it's stopped me grazing because eating has not been a fun experience. I've eaten because I needed meals. <laughs> Snacking was right out because everything hurt. It was just ridiculous. I am not a good patient. When I get ill, which is very rare, 
I do not get ill. And it's just as well because I'm a lousy patient. I hate losing that independence, so I'm used to being able to get up in the morning and do what I need to do with my day. I don't want to have to be in pain at the same time. Um, it's very draining. It means you're not performing at your best. And it's why I'm perhaps a little bit obsessed about looking after my health better and trying not to cut corners on health because I don't want to be that ill person. I don't have time for it. I, I like being independent. That independence is so important to me. And I can't do that if I'm feeling ill. So I have not been great these last few days. But after lunch, I will know whether or not um, or how much improvement I've made because if I end up in a lot of pain post eating I know I still need to be careful with that and I probably will still be careful anyway right so that's the liver done now I have a, a bit of bacon this was part of my last batch of cooking bacon that's been in the freezer and I just uh, made videos before about dividing it all up and putting it in the freezer so you can just take out a meal sized piece. This is going to be a protein fest. I don't normally cook this much meat in one meal. I tend to ration meat because it's an expensive commodity these days. And I've just dropped some of my bacon on the floor. give that a rinse. It's probably a good idea. Right. Now, my recipes are always slapdash cheap versions of better things. So if you get annoyed about the way I'm doing this, you're just going to have to get over it because this is how I do things on a budget. Sorry about that. So, that's the liver and bacon. Chopped, I've stuck it in together because it's all going to end up in the same place anyway. Um, I need to do the potatoes. Uh, I think I might just do one potato actually because I'm going to save the rest of this for later. And then I can add maybe some broccoli or something to the evening bits. To pad it out a little bit. So I'm going to put that second potato back. But I do have a carrot which I'm actually going to put in with the liver and bacon as opposed to on the side. Uh, the potato I'm just going to boil up. Outside taking photographs. I see this chap a lot. I don't know whether he's like a local journalist, but he's always out and about with his camera. So I think he might be a local journalist. His photos might go in the local paper. Uh, right, so stop waffling. So I'm just going to do this one potato, just chopping out the eyes because all my spuds are now sprouting. And I still have my, the ones that I have chitting, look they're getting there. I won't put them out until April anyway, they'll sit there for ages like that. Right, so we have water, so let's pop in that potato there. Get rid of that. my onion is that done carrot
on camera. I'm also going to make gravy. Again, I don't make a big fuss about how I make the gravy. It's cheap gravy granules. But by the time it's mixed up with everything else, it'll be great. What I'm going to do is um, just make a nice thick gravy that will go into the pan with the meat. So what I'm going to do is whack in a couple of teaspoons of that. And if I need to, I'll add more because I'll probably fill that up with water. What I'm going to do, once my potatoes have boiled, I'm going to use the water from that to make the gravy. Because boiling extra hot water just seems like a waste of time for one cup of gravy. So let's get the pan going. Right, let's get cracking with this then. I should probably move you around so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see if we can do this. That'll probably do. Right. Heat up the pan. And get the onions in first. Let those brown off a little bit.
it's Tuesday evening, it's six o'clock, I've been to Morrison's, but my teeth started hurting this afternoon and I'm not feeling up to much. Um, on the way back I noticed that there are people still in the office where I do the cleaning and I am not in the mood to make small talk with people I have nothing in common with. So I've just come home. I might go back in an hour when they've probably all gone or I might go tomorrow. It doesn't really matter as long as it's midweek. Um, and the state of my shopping basket matches how I feel because I deeply regret I think all but one of my purchases. I spent £4 too, or I would have done, but I'm still using the gift card, so effectively all this was free. So I'm going to run you through the mess that is my <laughs> shopping bag of delights. There wasn't any veg uh, apart from one thing, where is it? It was one of these vegetable soup kits, which I put in the freezer. Was 99p, now 25p. So that will go in the freezer for a rainy day because I've just used the last of mine. Um, everything else is a bit of a disaster zone. I shouldn't have gone shopping this evening. Uh, but like I say, there were no vegetables and the reduced to counter chill section was empty and the queue of people waiting for it to be stocked. I've noticed this now, if you go in the evening about half five, six o'clock, all the yellow stick shoppers are out and they literally will queue for ages waiting for someone to come and stock the shelves. And you stand there for ages because they pick through everything as it comes off the trolley. The poor guy doesn't even get a chance to put it in the on the shelf and I can't be bothered with all that. I'm not waiting around just to get 20p off a pack of chicken um so i just got what i could i'm not queuing for that stuff so fabulous tiger loaf and they call them tiger loaves yes salt where well, it says salt and pepper bloomer on the outside but it says it's a tiger bloomer was one pound 35 34p so that's a good saving there more bread unfortunately more bagels uh one pound 25 down to 32p these are red onion and chive. So these actually could be quite nice as a, as a tea time thing. But they will go in the freezer for a rainy day. I'm not going to eat those now. Um, a pack of Seabrook crisps were £1.35 down to 68p. There's a split in the packet. But the last time I bought them like this they were all there. Uh, six pack. They go into the emergency snack bag for a rainy day. I don't eat a lot of crisps, but occasionally I think, oh, really fancy a bag of crisps. It's nice to have something there. And these things will last forever in the cupboard. Here are my two major regrets. I don't know what I was thinking. So, triple chocolate muffins. These were one pound seventy down to forty three p. I have nothing else sweet in to eat. There is nothing. All the yogurt has gone. There is no cake. Um, there's about a quarter of a packet of biscuits. There's nothing. So it's not like I have lots of other things in. And the other thing I got, and this is really bad, and I almost apologise for it, party cake. Was 7 99 down to two quid. If I ration this, Theoretically, this should last at least a week and a half. What do you reckon? Do you reckon I, I can uh, contain my excitement at a party cake? Probably not. But it will last ages in the box, so I will probably do the muffins first and then go to the party cake. And at least that will stop me buying anything else for a while or eating anything else um, and as I say, I don't have anything else sweet in the flat at the moment. And you don't get very much on the counters usually. I'm swilling with salt water. Because it's supposed to bring down the inflammation. As one bit heals up, another bit's kind of like coming out. It's like the bruising and the swelling and everything is coming out at different stages. 
it's horrific. Anyway, that's the end of my Tuesday. I feel that at the rate I'm going, I will probably go and do the cleaning tomorrow instead. Um, I'm not doing the clean tomorrow during the day because they moved me to Thursday. So it's not like I'm doing both in one day. And I have a marketing research survey at three o'clock, so three till four. So that could, you know, that, that creates a nice kind of working afternoon for me. Um, yeah, so I think, um, I think I'm going to knock today on the head. I'm going to get out my cleaning clothes. I just, I can't focus. The pain is just, it comes and goes, but when it's there, it's overwhelming. And when you've got to clean two floors of a building and put up with that as well. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Right, so it's Wednesday morning. I'm in the car as you can tell. I'm not supposed to be in the car, but I now am in the car. So, after I decided last night that I wasn't going to go and do my clean because I was in too much pain, which today doesn't seem to be as bad, I'm going to see how I go. It's raining. Um, seven o'clock I get a phone call can we move the Wednesday clean that we moved to Thursday back to Wednesday so here I am after we made that change I emailed the people who I'm doing the market research second market research survey with this afternoon to say hey the thing that was on Thursday that was supposed to be on Wednesday and moved to Thursday so that you had to now be on Wednesday even though you wanted Thursday has now back, moved back to Wednesday would you like to move it to Thursday if it's more convenient for you because originally I had said I was free on the Thursday and then by the time they contacted me to schedule this market research in um, I'd swapped the, the cleaning around because I didn't realise I was going to get a call for market research anyway so that might happen um, I emailed them last night and explained and said look if it's more suitable for you because they'd opened up a special time extra time slot for me this afternoon to fit me in even though they really wanted me on Thursday so I've given them the option to move me back to tomorrow which I would prefer but They've already messaged back and said, we'll check, we'll find out, but I think they'll probably want to leave you where you are. So that means that today I need to be on top form because I'm now driving to my clean. I have to make sure that I leave that bang on time because I have to get back to set up for this Microsoft Teams call at three till four. And then this evening I've got to go out and do the clean that I would have done yesterday had I been well enough. So Wednesday has turned into a chaotic day as of now. Um, but we have flexibility. We, uh, we, just, we just go with the flow. And once today's over with, it'll all be back to normal. It's not, it's not ridiculously chaotic. Uh, it's one day out of lots of days that are not chaotic. So I'm not gonna worry about it. It's just the way things have worked out. But I knew in my gut, I knew that they were going to phone and say, can we move the clean back to Wednesday? I just, you know, you just get that feeling. And I knew it was coming. And then it's bang on seven o'clock. Like half an hour after I decided I wasn't going to do the clean, they call. I could have said no. Sorry, I'll leave you on Thursday. But I thought it was an opportunity because um, I was thinking to myself, well, the marketing people who I'm speaking to later may well want to move this. And I was kind of doing it with them in mind, but also to free up 
that afternoon time so that I'm not cramming everything into one day. But it's whatever it is. I'm not going to worry about it. It's one day. And as long as I don't end up in pain at some point, we can ride this out. The problem comes when I start getting into pain. But I'm hoping we won't. I'm definitely better than I was yesterday. Not better. I am better than I was. I can still feel here that it's niggling a little bit. And that's purely because I'm talking, because it's just creating a little bit of movement here, which is irritating that bit of gum, which is still quite sore. The teeth at the top don't seem to be as bad. That seems to have eased off a bit, so I'm hoping that I haven't done any major damage there. And brushing was slightly less painful this morning, and I don't seem to have set the pain off. So we're moving in the right direction, so that's good. Um, oh, this morning as well, my mouth guard turned up. It's exactly what I hoped it would be, and I hope it works. I'll show you that later. I don't have time now, so I'll probably do that. Um, I might even do that tomorrow. It depends how the day pans out. Uh, but it looks, it's a very simple, small device. Uh, what I particularly like about it is it's quite soft rubber, so it's not going to rub or anything. So, I'll sh yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you that. I'm going to wear that tonight and see how we get on. I slept well last night. I went to bed early and I was out. I was so tired. Just the pain just leeches your energy. And as I've said before, I'm not very good at pain and stuff like that. Uh, so I was really tired and I went to bed about half ten, which is quite early for me. And I was out like a light and because I hadn't had any pain up until I went to bed, I was straight out to sleep. Whereas often I'm getting the pain uh, intermittently through the evening and it kicks in just before I go to bed. And then I end up laying there for an hour or two trying to deal with it so that I can fall asleep. Um, so I got up my full quota last night. I do remember waking up a couple of times and I seemed to be vaguely aware that I was biting down a bit on my mouth because I could feel it. So this might have slowed up my recovery as well if I am still biting even though I'm in pain. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so I'm hoping that with this new mouth guard, if it provides some sort of protection from that, it's got to be better than nothing as a short term solution until I can get to see my dentist at the beginning of April. So <laughs> it's turned into it's turning into a chaotic midweek but we're okay. Uh, yeah we're fine. I'm running early today. I'm just making sure that I'm not rushing around for anything today. Um, because I don't want to add any more complications or confusion. Hopefully while I'm out, I will find out whether or not they're able to move my um, appointment at three o'clock to tomorrow. I don't think they're going to. They don't, they don't. I can still make it. It just means that I'm running to a tighter time slot than usual. But we won't worry about that. Now because I'm going to be actually quite early to my appointment. I think I'm just going to have that 10 minutes to have a little decompress. Yeah, I'm running really early. Not to worry. We can, we can, we can do this thing. We can do this. Over the cats, where'd you go? Right, so there we are. Ah, oh dear, not as cold today, didn't need the heater on, which is good. We're just going to chill. 
feel like I'm running out of things to say. Sometimes I end up with loads and loads of videos stashed up on my on my on my scheduled on my feed ready to go sometimes like two weeks in advance if I've got a lot of stuff um, I feel like I'm running quite low on things to say and it just depends on what's coming up which at the moment isn't very much um, things are just fairly quiet at the moment apart from my poor face I'm hoping that if this mouth guard works, then I won't have to pay a fortune for one that he'll probably want to make me because he'll make money. My dentist is a private dentist, and there's a whole long reason for why I've ended up with a private dentist 250 miles away from where I live, um, which is all related to COVID back in 2020. It is more expensive, um, but I, I think particularly when it comes to like proper health care, you get what you pay for. So I was really happy with my NHS dentist, although I wasn't getting it for free. When you're self-employed, you're not counted as being on a low income, so I had to pay full whatever. So I didn't, I'm not paying that much more by being private. Um, I don't know if I'm getting a better service than the NHS one I was on that I was already paying for, um, but I'm happy with what I get from them. I trust them and I feel like I get good advice. And they don't always want to charge me. So I had an issue last year where I had two options. I could go down the, they would need to do treatment and I'd pay them routine. Or there was also the, you can do it yourself for nothing. And this is how you do it. And I opted for that. And we came out with the same, uh, the same end point, which was the problem was dealt with. And he offered that, you know, he wasn't pushing me into paying for it. So if this mouth guard thing works and he's happy for me to use it, he may well just let me just carry on using what I've got. But the other reason for getting it now is that I have plenty of time to try and use it. I still feel the muscles here just pulling when I talk. I need to shut up a bit more. Oh. It's annoying that the one thing and I'm really scared, well, I'm scared, anything medical, and I'm a, a bit of a wuss, I'm not very good with anything medical intervention wise, and it's typical that the thing that makes my life difficult is dental, which is a thing that I have real problems with. Every time I go in for a dentist appointment, I go in nervous, even when it's just a standard appointment. I'm always on tender hooks, I've just always been like that, ever since I was a child, I have never been happy with dentistry, I've never been happy with going to hospitals, um, I don't feel especially comfortable going to the doctors even though when I go to the doctors they're always standard appointments, there's never anything dodgy going on, touch wood my health has been generally good and I don't have issues but I'm just not good with, I'm just not good with medical stuff, um, I get lightheaded, I freak out and then I pass out. <laughs> I have no control over it. It's just random as anything. Um, so I try to just avoid those situations because it makes life easier. God, I'm so early. Catch you later.